close your eyes, take some good deep breaths, and find the coolest spot in your body right now. This helps the mind take its concern away from the heat outside, because you realize that not everything is hot. You've got some cooler spots, so focus on those. And in the same way that you would spread the breath energy through the body, see if you can let that coolness spread too. In other words, take advantage of the things that strengthen you, and don't get upset by the things that would weaken you. You've got to learn how to have your own inner resources so that you don't have to follow along with the way the world goes. So, so that when things get bad and people are breaking the precepts, okay, you don't have to follow them. You realize that your precepts are your treasure. You don't want to spill them. You don't want to tear them apart just because other people are tearing up theirs. As for your concentration, you want to make sure your concentration is good, even as the world is trying to distract you in all kinds of directions. As you say, that's their business, it's not mine. And as for your discernment, you want to make sure that you look at what's causing stress, what's putting, alleviating stress. Realizing that that's why you were acting in any way to begin with. You're looking for happiness. You're looking for something reliable and good. And so whatever else the world is telling you is important, the, the values that they're trying to place on you, you ask yourself, okay, is that what I'm here for? Why do I have to follow them around? The image that John Fung used to give us of water buffaloes being led around by the nose. You've got a ring in your nose where everybody, anybody pulls it, there you have to go. All your attachments to the world, all your attachments to wanting to fit in with other people, that's a big ring in your nose right there. And they come because we don't have our inner resources fully developed, so we think we have to depend on the world outside. But when you start developing your inner resources more and more, you begin to realize that you have a source of goodness, you have a source of inner strength. You've got these potentials in here, and once they're developed, then you can really rely on them. So learn how to separate yourself from the, the ways of the world and put yourself in the ways of the Dharma. Otherwise, you join what the Buddha called the customs and the noble ones, and that helps you become a noble one as well. And we're not doing this because we want other people to admire us. We're doing this because it's good for us, because we find energy. We can gain a boost in our morale as we look at our own behavior and see that there's nothing there to be criticized, nothing there that's harmful to anybody. And that helps see you through a lot of difficulties, because the world is a difficult place. We're born into it, and after a while it's going to take our life away. So in the meantime, we want to make the most of the opportunities we do have to do good, because that's what we can take with us.